chapter 6 hope is the thing with that's written around 1861 is a popular poem by the american poet emily dickinson emily dickinson born on 10 december 1830 and died on 15th may 1886 was an american poet Her poetry is marked by short poems with short lines and unusual punctuation and capitalization. Some of her well-known poems are Hope is the thing with feathers, Success is counted sweetest, A bird came down the walk, Tell all the truth but tell it slant, and Felt a funeral in my brain. Dickinson's poetry was largely discovered after her death. and she is now considered to be one of the most influential poets in the history of literature so let's come with me we'll see the poem hope is the thing with feathers hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and so must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm i've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it asked let's see the explanation part of first two lines hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul the speaker defines hope as a feathered creature that dwells inside the human spirit this feathery thing sings a wordless tune not stopping under any circumstances next two lines and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all this feathery thing sings a wordless tune not stopping under any circumstances and sweetest in the gale is heard its tune sounds best when heard in fierce winds next line and so must be the storm that could abash the little bird only an incredibly severe storm could stop this bird from singing our next line that kept so many warm the hope bird has made many people feel warm next two lines i have heard it in the chilliest land and on the strangest sea the speaker has heard the bird singing in the coldest places and on the weirdest seas our next line yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me speaker says but in the speaker's experiences even the most extreme ones the bird has never asked for anything in return now we'll see the summary in this poem hope is a thing with feathers poet compares hope to a bird in the poem hope is always present in the soul perched and singing it can be found in the darkest times and through many different storms although hope fights for us it never asks anything in return let's see the appreciation of poem according to the following points first title hope is the thing with feathers second point author the author of the poem is emily dickinson rhyme scheme the rhyme scheme of the stanza is a b c d next a b a b and next a b c d favorite line my favorite line from the poem is hope is a thing with feathers i like above lines because it is inspires me it pours in my mind positive thoughts theme or a central idea hope is the power which can defeat any difficult circumstances nothing is impossible 
according to the poetess hope the little bird that nests in our soul keeps us going even in the most difficult of times and demands nothing to return figure of speech personification hope is the thing with feather reason an inanimate object hope is portrayed as an animate thing with little bird second metaphor hope is the thing with feathers reason hope is compared with the feathers seventh one special feature implied meaning or implied meaning this poem is full of implied meanings it tells you the importance of hope and helps you to survive in any difficult days or occasions hope is a strength it cannot be defeated easily it is the greatest thing eighth point why i like this poem i like the poem for its positive message and negative thoughts are all gone away according to the poet